How to use App Master Tutorial for Beginners Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use App Master. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to appmaster.io. And if you haven't signed up for AppMaster yet, you can check the video description below for a special discount link. But before that, if you don't know AppMaster, it is a no-code platform that allows users to build complex server, web, and mobile applications without writing a single line of code, in which it generates perfect source of code, creates applications in a web interface with convenient visual programming tools, and allow users to change the structure and appearance in a convenient application designer. And now, to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing blend that you can avail by simply clicking this pricing option on the top panel, you will be directed on this page. And from here, it will show you the list of plans that they offer. We have here the free plan, a startup, business, and enterprise plan. And below, you will see the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included on each plan. However, in those options, I'm going to choose the free plan. Or you could also click this button on the top right corner, try free, then you will be directed on this page. And from here, to start creating your account, you can choose to continue using your Google account, Facebook, LinkedIn, or even using your email address. Then after that, you will be directed in here. Then just proceed by clicking this button below here. In which upon clicking on it, the next thing that you need to do is to select your personal or preference answer based on their question. And after selecting your answer, just proceed by clicking the next button below here. And after selecting all of your answer based on their question, you will now be directed on this page. So this is the dashboard of App Master. And you will see on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating such as all projects, theme and permissions, general, billing, subscription, special pricing, and many more. And now, if you want to create your new project, under this all project, you could choose to create a blank project or even use template or wizard which is not currently available at the moment. So at this point, I'm going to select to create a blank project. Or alternatively, you could also click this button on the top right corner to create a project. In which upon clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window. And from here, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information is starting from the step one, which is configure by simply entering your project name in here and also the description below to add some details about your project. And after that, just proceed by clicking the next button below here to proceed to the next step. In which upon clicking on it, the next thing that you need to do is under the subscription is to choose the plan that you want to use. But as you can see, I'm currently using the basic plan. So can you proceed by clicking the next button below here then you will be directed on the team section in which from here, you can choose the person on your team and even choose their role in your project. Well, for the last section, which is the confirm section, in which it will show you your billing period and the amount that you need to pay for the subscription. And to proceed, just click the create project button below here. And after that, you will now see that we have now created successfully a project. And by clicking these three dots, you will be able to navigate the settings and also delete this project. And aside from that, by simply clicking the created project, you will be directed on this page, in which from here, you will be able to see your project overview, including the amount of endpoints, business processes, data models, web applications, mobile applications, development, and many more. So you can track all of that under this project overview. And now, to create a mobile application, just go back to this page right here, in which the next thing that we need to do is to simply choose the specific project that we want to create an application with. So I'm going to click this one, and from here, on the left side panel, just click this mobile option. And to start creating an application, just click this Create Application button below here. And on the pop-up window, just proceed by clicking Install Now. And after that, it will show you another pop-up window, in which from here, the next thing that you need to do is to simply choose under the general, the specific platforms you want to create this application. We have here for iOS, 
Android, or even multi-platform. And below here, you're also required to enter your app name and also a description below here. And make sure to enter the description that contain the details and also the uses of your application. And aside from that, by simply clicking this plus upload right here, you will be able to start uploading a files from your computer. And by clicking this next button right here, the next thing that you need to do under this layout is to simply choose the type of navigation for your application auto layout. We have here blank, bottom navigation, and slide out menu. Well, for the next step is the branding section, in which in this section, all you need to do is to select the color style for your mobile app layout using the given color palette right here. And you can even customize the color in here. And now to proceed, just click create button below here. Then you will be directed on this page and it will show you that mobile app was now been successfully created. And from here, we can now start customizing all of the details and also the layout design of your application. And as you can see on the left side panel, it will show us some of the pages such as home, sign up screen, and sign in screen. But let's say we're going to focus on the sign up screen and to start customizing the details of it, just simply click or double click on the text and it will show you on the right side panel some of the details that you can start customizing, which is under appearance and also workflow. And to change the context, just double click on this text right here and you will see on the right side panel that you can now start changing the context by simply entering the text that you want to input in here. So for instance, instead of create new account, I'm going to enter here, register. And aside from that, you could also customize the text on this button by doing the same thing, which is double clicking, you will be able to start entering your preferred context. And aside from this option, you could also navigate on the left side panel, the components by simply clicking the component section. From here, it will show you the list of the elements that you can add to your mobile application including their layout elements, basic elements, form elements, widgets, shapes, and any other details. And aside from customizing the specific pages on this mobile application, on this left side panel, you could also start browsing or visiting some of the pages, including this bottom navigation screen, the sign-in screen, and start customizing it using some of the editing tools that you can find on the left side panel and also on the right side panel. And now to save the changes, just click the save application button on the top right corner. And upon clicking on it, you will be able to see that the changes has now been saved. Then to publish this, kind of click this publish button and click development. And upon doing so, it will show you that the development has now been loading. So all you need to do is wait for it to load until this mobile application's been published. Now going back to this page right here, after publishing or creating a mobile application, we could also start navigating some of the option on the left side panel. But that is just basically how you can use AppMaster. Thank you.